Get your thoughts. With 519 left, Torian Prince gave the Nets that one point lead. What happened in that final stretch from 519 on? What did you see with this Nets team as Philly started to pull away? Well, I know you guys have been talking about it, but it is situations of the, the, the decision making on the shot selection and the Nets shot really well from the three point line overall throughout the course of the game. But it was picking and choosing their spots and the free throw line, even though you look at it and the Nets made 15 free throws, I believe Philadelphia just makes 16. But it's that momentum when you make a nice play, when you get to the basket, when you drive and then you're fouled and you don't convert on that end and they had an inability to really get some fluidity from the offensive end whether it was missed shots or whether it was getting got fouled getting to the free throw line and, and Tobias Harris we saw take over but a lot of what Philadelphia was able to do even was earlier just sharing the basketball Furkan Korkmaz came up with some big three-point shots but they made a concerted effort to really get to the paint get to the elbow areas and coming into this game Brett Brown talked about what the Nets were able to do in the paint against them in the first meeting flip side of things here for Philadelphia as they really just did a, a nice job of understanding some of the openings they'd have in the mid-range around the basket and took advantage. Sarah, when the Nets get all three of their guards on the floor at the same time and Kyrie Irving, Spencer Dinwiddie, and also Karis LeVert, they have a lot of weapons to spread a defense out. They talked about, Kenny Atkinson said this is, uh, you know, it's growing pains. Uh, Kyrie Irving talked about there being an adjustment period. How did you see that progression with these three on the floor tonight? You know what, I, I thought, and I think, you know, things closed out a little bit, whether Karos was on or off. Um, I do think it's still just a progression. It's a work in progress. What I really liked about tonight, um, even though Kyrie Irving didn't have the same type of efficiency as we saw in those first two games, Spencer Dinwiddie, I thought, looked so comfortable, confident, assertive, and it was the same type of Spencer Dinwiddie that we had been seeing throughout the course of, uh, you know, the last six, seven, eight weeks of play without Kyrie Irving and Karis LeVert, and you're going to need that. And, um, I, I again I think there was ball sharing but I think you know it's one of those circumstances of, of reading a defense Josh Richardson was really blanketing Kyrie Irving they were making sure to get the ball out of his hands and and take him away and I felt like Dinwiddie was very aggressive in that nature but but I do overall think it's going to be a continued work in progress for these guys to figure out the ball sharing to figure out what they're doing whether it's on the ball off the ball but but making sure that they still are the same type of threats the same type of aggressive assertive players on the offensive end even though they understand that everyone is very capable of playmaking creating on their own Sarah the net